Hi, I'm Toby from AbletonDrummer.com. I have a new Max for Live device which lets you select a different layout on your Airy Touch depending on which track is selected. So you can see here on my Airy Touch the layout is changing and I'm triggering this by selecting a different track in Ableton Live. So let me show you how you're gonna set this up if you're excited about this. So you have this Max for Live device which you can get. Just follow the link in the video description and you can open up the view or the window here and this will stay on the top so i can define here which track selection would trigger which layout so i have to um, switch that on and i can have up to 32 and i can go up to 255 tracks so that's quite a lot the tracks are counted from the beginning so if i move stuff here for example so now this is number one this is number two this is number three so if i want this to change i need to just type in a number here or select the number so now if i'm changing between number one track number one and track number three this is being triggered so on the midi track where you have this device sitting you need to send the midi to the airy touch so you need to select the track output in your midi preferences to be able to select the airy touch here the channel doesn't make a huge difference here it's receiving on all channels so you can just select airy touch here have the device on there and that's all you need to do so you are now able to select the different tracks um, maybe via your push or depending on what kind of looping or live performance you're making here and then automatically the right layout will be selected so let's quickly let me show you this so i can now have this pad playing here so and if i go to record on this one you can see the track is selected and automatically it's changing to the right layout okay i hope that's gonna help a few people check out my other devices as well stay tuned bye bye